let's turn this into this. Before we get started with chopping up the okra, we're gonna turn on the skillet because we're gonna transfer it right from the cutting board directly inside there. So I have it on medium heat right now and we're gonna to need to grease the skillet. Now, if you wanna save calories, cooking oil spray, and if you want better taste, vegan butter. Really it's an option of what you prefer. And if you have the calories, if you're dieting, you may wanna roll with the cooking oil spray. If you have a few calories to play around with, then you may wanna use the vegan butter. It's gonna just taste better. This is the organic whipped from Earth's Balance. This is 80 calories per serve, and the serving size is 11 grams. So what we can do is use like half of that, you know, maybe five grams, throw it on there so it's an extra 40 calories, you know. So if you have the calories to play around with, sure. If not, use the cooking oil spray. So I'm gonna quickly weigh out the vegan butter. So this is four grams of vegan butter right there. Throw it right on the skillet. Keep it very simple, about three at a time. Chop them. So we're gonna let this cook a little bit. I will be using a little bit of the cooking oil spray. The butter was really useful for the taste and the texture. Now let's talk about seasonings. These are the basics that I use. Pretty much put sesame on everything. All right, that's a staple. That's what it looks like. Sesame by Goya. Goya. This is the best tasting brand that I've tasted with sesame. Then we got some garlic powder and then some pink salt. Those are pretty much what I use for the majority of foods and veggies. And this is really good too. I just found this. I just started using it. It's an all-purpose uh, spicy Cajun season by Kingsford, which is really good. So I may add a little bit of that. So let's go on back over here. And we'll add our sesame first. And I use a lot of this. So usually my food ends up turning orange because <laughs> I just add so much. You can add a lot of garlic powder as well. And then I add a little bit of pink salt. And we just cook it down. You notice that it needs a little bit of greasing. You can either add some water, some veggie broth, and this is how it's going to look. So you'll see how it looks as it cooks now. Okay, so update how it's looking. So I'm gonna add a little bit of water so I don't have to use as much oil. All right. Let's let that cook in. And then you can taste it as you go. And you just let it cook down. So this will allow that like stickiness and slimy texture to kind of go away. All right, and you can add more seasonings as needed. I will try to add seasonings little by little so that you don't over season. Because if you under season, you can always add more. If you over season, then you kind of just messed up unless you add some more water and try to water it down or whatever. I think we're about ready to roll. That's all it takes is a few minutes to cook down, you know, maybe five to seven minutes, if that. All right, so let's add it to the plate. Simple as that. 